Safe Sam Like many folks out there, Sam wants to keep his money safe and still wants to get ahead. Keep your money safe? No problem. Put it in high quality bonds. What kind of returns will you get in those? Somewhere around 1 to 3 percent. Well, sure, your principal is safe, but not against inflation. You want to get ahead? It's all about the markets, where you should average at least 7 percent. Well, yeah, I should average 7 percent. Check out my track record. Of course there's risk in the markets, but if you want to get ahead with your money, what choice do you really have? You do have some choices. Come on, follow me. See, historically, if you wanted safety, you went only to the banks. If you wanted growth, you went only to the brokerages. And if you wanted protection, you went only to the insurance companies. But all that changed around a decade ago when, because a law called the Glass-Steagall Act was repealed, the walls dividing those institutions were essentially torn down. And now, in its aftermath, you no longer only have to go to banks for safety, brokerage firms for growth, and the insurance companies for protection. These days, you can get all of them essentially under one roof. What's this mean to you? Let's look at a specific example of what the repeal means to your specific quest to keep your money safe and get ahead. Historically, safety meant no growth, growth meant risk, and insurance meant protection. But because of the repeal, you can basically mix and match these things, meaning you no longer have to give up safety to get growth. You can now get safety or growth at any of these institutions, but you can only get safety and growth by going to the insurance companies. Let's take a closer look. Insurance companies can now put your money in high quality corporate and government bonds and keep it there for safety. In these accounts, the interest you earn is typically greater than what you'll get going it alone, given the enormous purchasing power these giant companies have. Once it's in there, you'll have two key choices to make. You can either let the earnings sit there and pile up at the bond rates, or you can go after market rates of return while still keeping your money safe. To accomplish this, the company uses the interest from those bonds to purchase options on the movement of a market index, such as the S&P 500. So if the market goes up, you get 100% of the gains up to a maximum in exchange for protection against loss. Understand? <laughs> you look a bit confused. Here, come with me. Sometimes an analogy helps. Familiar with the game of blackjack, right? Good. Most people play the game against the house, where bet 100, and if you beat the dealer, you win 100. But if the dealer beats you, you lose. Easy stuff, right? Excellent. Over at this table, however, the game is basically the same, but with a few key differences. Over here, the house is your partner, and when you win, you add the winnings up to a maximum to your principal, and your partner keeps the rest. And when you lose a hand, you lose no principal, and you just play the next hand over again, waiting in anticipation for the good hands and ignoring the bad ones. Oh, want a real-world example? Sure. Suppose back when Glass-Steagall was repealed, you had $100,000 and put it into the S&P 500 index with a brokerage. Many refer to this as the pain and gain method, addressing just the return of the index and not taking into account taxes, fees, and dividends, the results using the actual gains and losses of the S&P would have looked like this. First couple of years, not so good. Then better over here. Awful right here. Then good again. Where at the end of this road, you would have ended up with less than what you started with. Many refer to this as the lost decade. Over here is the alternate version that some refer to as the cap and keep method, where once again, addressing just the return of the index and not taking into account fees, your results would have looked like this. First couple of years, you sit out and lose nothing. 
waiting in anticipation for here. The good years, where you participate in the growth of the market up to the maximum. Bad year here, but notice, you didn't lose any principal and kept all your prior gains. Good again here and at the end of this road, over the same period of time using the movement of the same market index, you would have ended up with more than what you started with. This cap and keep method changes people's behavior, and that's a very important point. This method allows people to sit out the bad years and not go backwards in time while waiting in anticipation for the good years to come back around. When the good years do come back around, instead of making up for previous losses, as with the pain and gain method, here in cap and keep, the new gains are just added to previous balances. This waiting it out for the good years makes a big difference, especially since historically, the best market years often follow the very worst ones. In the method of pain and gain, many people bail in the bad years and then wind up missing out on the good years when the markets do eventually come back. Cap and keep, it's a totally different mindset that helps those who want to keep their money safe and get ahead. Why doesn't everyone follow the cap and keep method? Any number of reasons, such as, some people just want to try to beat or time the market and are willing to deal with its pains and gains. There's no incentive for banks or brokerages to tell people to take their money somewhere else. And lastly, given preconceived opinions formed prior to the repeal of Glass-Steagall, the majority of information out there is just simply outdated and as such, many people maintain a stigma against the phrase insurance company. Make sense? Good. In the next videos, we'll address the impact fees has on the growth of your money. After that, we'll address taxes, which is just as important in the process, especially during the distribution phase when you'll be generating income from the account. Want to learn more? You can always contact us and for sure, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Those new videos are coming right up.